So, College of Winterhold, here I come. For real this time. Well, here I am. Welcome to the college. I was told to come and see you. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? Sure, I'd love to have a look around. Wonderful. Please follow me and don't wander off. This must be that beautiful has been a Skyrim fixture in Skyrim for thousands of years. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the Hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge of the College, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Okay. Unfortunately, we've had to implement more stringent entry procedures due to some problems with the local Nords. We don't anticipate any real violence, but it never hurts to be prepared. Fair enough. I came here quite a while ago. I was looking for an Elder Scroll. Um, back for the well, that back when I was helping the Volkahar clan. What now? And I spoke to Ure Groshreb, and he pointed me in the right direction, which was uh, northwest, I think. But I didn't come back until now. Our newest members are housed here, in the Hall of Attainment. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside, as others may be working on research or delicate experiments. Sure thing. I'm no fan of the sun. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. This is where you'll be staying. This bed and desk are yours. Please try and be considerate of others. Now, let's go back to the Hall of the Elements, where most of the members gather for lectures and study sessions. Sure thing. So this is all mine? I will take these alchemy ingredients then. Where'd you go? Ah. Uh. So... Initially you'll be learning from Tolfdir, one of our most esteemed wizards. Glad to hear it. Uh, who else, um, lives here, works here, whatever? I met the librarian who read grocery and I think it was Feralda who let me in. But I've not spoken to anyone else. Well, besides you, of course. Tolfdir is likely already addressing the new apprentices. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. Ah, uh, yes, other apprentices. You mentioned there were others. I'll go and meet them, then. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. You are new here, are you not? We have not spoken. No, we haven't. Then allow me to introduce myself. I am Savos Arin, Archmage of the College of Winterhold. I am quite content to see nearly any aspect of magic explored and investigated here. But I do not and will not approve of any research or experiments that cause purposeful harm to your fellow members of the college. Are we clear? Of course. No worries. And I'm Iris. Nice to meet you. Um, I'll just go and meet the others then. Mm-hmm. What's that? 
Missing apprentices. The college asked that everyone keep an eye out for the previous group of apprentices who has gone missing. As of yet, no information has become available. If anyone has any information regarding Yizra, Inastai, Bovio, or Rundi, please speak to me at once. Phoenix Jester. Okay. Welcome, welcome. We were just beginning. Please, stay and listen. Sure thing. So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. Unless you can control it, it can and will destroy you. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control, mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Well, that gives a chance to show you what we can do. You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? I mean, honestly, I agree. I think we should be learning something practical. Is that so? See, he agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward. We'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with a demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? Uh, yes, I do have a ward spell, but I've never really used it. That's what this lesson is for. Perfect time to try it out. Now, if you'll just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. Over there, please, just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, cast the ward spell and keep it up. Ah, uh, that'll be under restoration. Let's award. Have to keep your ward up, or else this won't work. I don't want to hurt you. Yeah, I've got it. Over there, please. Just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Hold still. Excellent work. Well, I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing the war. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarthor nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. Okay. And where are we going? Sothal is southwest of here. I suppose we better get going. Oh. Still no word from your family? No, and I'm not expecting any. Really? That must be so nice. I came all the way to Skyrim just to get away from my family's expectations. My family didn't really approve of me coming here at all. Oh, well that's... awkward. Sorry to have brought it up. Before you even ask, yes, I have an ancestry steeped in magic, and no, I don't want to talk about it. Yes, I know Winterhold used to be full of my kind, and no, I don't care that they're all gone now. Does that cover everything? Well, I, I just wanted to say hi to a fellow Dunma. I've just been asked enough questions. I'm here to learn not to explain myself over and over. Forgive me. I didn't mean to assume. Well, nice to meet you. Do you like it here at the college? So far. If only because no one is telling me how great I ought to be. I just want to learn. I don't want to think about what's expected of me. Okay. Do you know anything about Sarthal before we go? Not really. Just that it's very, very old. It was one of the first cities of men in Tamriel, I think. 
Yeah, that's about all I knew as well. Well, let's get going. Until next time. New here too, eh? I'd hoped I wouldn't be the only Nord, but I should have known better. Why aren't there many Nords at the college? Magic is shunned by most. If it can't be swung over your head and used to crack skulls, most Nords want nothing to do with it. Magic is seen as something for elves and weaker races. No offense, of course. So why do they have a problem in the college? Well, look at the evidence. Nords generally don't trust magic, so it's not off to a good start. Throw in the Oblivion Crisis, which was caused by magic users, and the troubles now with the Aldmeri Dominion, who are elves and magic users. And finally, take the fact that the college is the only thing left standing after most of Winterhold was destroyed. It's all fairly damning. Yeah. yeah I couldn't help overhearing that conversation with, between you and Berlina. Is it difficult being away from your family? Not at all. I consider it a blessing. My family was convinced coming here was a death sentence, or worse. It took years of insisting that this is what I'm meant to do. Yeah. All right then. Well, let's get going. South Hall's a fair work, so I'd prefer to get there before nightfall. There was another apprentice as well, wasn't there? Oh, been tending your hounds? You smell like a wet dog. Yeah, they've spoken to Onmund and Berlina. There was a third, a Khajiit. They must have gone on ahead. Well, I can speak to them later, I suppose. So it would appear that this is Southall. I have to leave my horse up here by the looks of it. Got into a few fights along the way, nothing I couldn't handle. Just a couple of frost trolls and some spiders and a vampire. Well, the vampire was fighting the spiders and they both turned hostile. Ooh, we've got silver ore. The others won't be too far behind, I wouldn't have thought. But they're not here yet. Oh well, I can just wait for a bit. Well, Jizargo has arrived. You are new, yes? Have you mastered the expert level destruction spells yet? Not yet, but I will, and probably quite soon. Ah, this is good. But Jizargo will know them first. It is good to finally be around mages who may be able to keep up with Jizargo. You seem very sure of yourself? There is much for Jizargo to be sure of. There is skill in magic, there is charm, and there is a strong will. Jezargo will be successful. Of this there is no doubt. Okay. Swift handing. And Tolfdeer arrived as well. And here we all are. Shall we step inside? Are we? I thought we were still waiting on Berlina and Onmund, but uh... Okay. All right. Please stay close to me while we're inside. It should be safe, but it's always better to be cautious. Okay. It might get a bit cramped in there, so... You, wait here. Oh, wow, well, yeah, everyone's here. Some of here. you may know, Sarthor was one of the earliest Nord settlements of Skyrim. Sacked by the elves in the infamous Night of Tears, not much is known about what happened to Sarthor. This is an exciting opportunity for us to be able to... Well, are there what? any questions before we begin? Yeah, I, I... What were you about to say? Um... What's so important about this place? We're particularly interested in the prevalence of magical seals placed on the tombs here. As 
rather unlike anything we've encountered. Okay. So, now what? Well, are there any questions before we begin? Uh, I don't think so. What do you want me to do? Ah, yes. Mm. Well, why don't you see if you can assist Arnie again? He's one of our scholars, here working on cataloging our finds. I expect he'd appreciate some help in locating any additional magical artifacts here in the ruins. Any enchanted item that will do. The usefulness of the enchantment is irrelevant. If you find anything, the class can look it over. Now let's see. What shall we have the rest of you do? Brendan, my dear, why don't you search for warding magics? Anything designed to keep people out. Don't interact with them. Just identify them. On them, please search that area over there. See if you notice any residual energies. Alive or undead. Zizargo, what shall we have you do? Ah, why don't you verify that we're the first ones here? Look for any amount of tampering with the tombs. All right, everyone. Let's be careful, but have fun. Can you imagine what it was like? Okay, so, so I'm we're looking we're for... First men in Tamriel. Here. Is there something about enchanted items? See anything? Oh, this is quite a, yeah. This is a big place, isn't it? What was that? Just a shovel. Well, certainly none of this will benefit my research. Tolftier sent me to help you. What? Ah, yes, you. I remember you. Do you? You're going to help. That's fine. Just... Just don't make a mess of my work. I've only looked through a portion of this section. You, uh... You can look around in the chambers just north of here. Try and be careful, alright? We don't want to damage anything. Sure. What did you need me to do? Just round up the rest of the magical artifacts so that I can catalog them. Fair enough. Until next time. Uh, Zorana, you're kind of in my way. So what do we have? Soul gems, empty burial urns, an enchanted ring, something here, I can't see it. Oh, another enchanted ring. Is there one here as well? Yes there is. And an ancient amulet on a pedestal of some sort. What in the world was that racket? Is everything all right? I'm trapped in here. How in the world did that happen? I pulled an amulet off the wall, which with hindsight probably wasn't such a good idea. Really? Perhaps the amulet is important somehow. Is there some way you can use it? I could put it on, I guess? Uh, What was it? South Isle Amulet. You see that? Some kind of resonance. You and the wall. It must be connected to the android. I wonder... Nothing. Sorry, Sarah. Uh, I might be able to heal you. Are we following you? Well, this is highly unusual. How so? Just the weird effect on the wall Why back in there? The world would this be sealed off? What is this place? Not sure. I know it grown. I've been in a couple before. Not a huge number, but Yes? Once you send one, you've sent them all. 
Hold What's happening? Each and listen well. Know that you have set in motion a chain of events that cannot be stopped. Judgment has not been passed, as you had no way of knowing. Knowing what? Judgment will be passed on your actions to come, and how you deal with the dangers ahead of you. This warning is passed to you because the Sigic Order believes in you. You, Mage, and you alone have the potential to prevent disaster. Take great care and know that the Order is watching. The Sigic Order? Who? I... I swear I felt something rather strange just then. What just happened? Some sort of ghost or apparition appeared. It spoke to me. I'm afraid I didn't see anything. Can you tell me more about what you saw? It said something about danger ahead and the Sigic Order. The Sigic Order? Are you quite sure about that? That's very odd. And danger ahead? Why, that doesn't make any sense at all. The Sigics have no connection to these ruins. And no one's seen any of their order in a long time. Perhaps we should take a look inside these coffins. Now, please do be careful. Who knows what we're going to find? And dead, probably. What's the Sigic Order? They were a group of mages with a history that predates the Empire. Very powerful, very secretive. No one's seen them in well over a hundred years. They vanished, along with their sanctuary on the Isle of Arteum. I have no idea what connection they'd have to this place. Hmm. And why would they contact me? I have no idea, but it's fascinating. Assuming it's true, of course. The Isle of Arteum disappeared over a hundred years ago, and no one has seen them since. And yet now, suddenly, they've chosen to contact you. Why, it's intriguing. If nothing else, I take it as a compliment. The Sigics have only ever dealt with those they feel worthy. Okay, let's get moving then. Take care now. So... Okay. Where does Sergio? Nice. Yeah, I'm kind of getting that. Well, we're okay so far. Bones. They're not getting up there. Okay. Indeed. Until next time. Well, that's a very big cap. I'll carry on. I'm definitely liking these uh, elemental spells. Shows are not coming. Any more? Okay. I think we've got company.
missed. Okay, I'm starting to feel more powerful. Elven bow. What's mine? Glass. I can sell it there. Uh, is there anything around here? No? Okay. Potions are always nice. Actually, I need to remember to use those magic potions. When I'm in sort of close range, anyway. That was just my skeleton. And I just set off a trap. Sorry if I hit you, Saran, or I keep doing that. Okay, we have uh, patterns. Hawk. Well, hawk, snack, hawk, I just went past that, and well, assuming that is what those represent. these elemental spells. I didn't mean to pick up an iron and a great sword, but if I can carry it, then that's fine. Uh, take all? I saw that rune. That one. Except I put it off. Oh, uh, snake whale, whale hook. This does everything. Okay. No, it's snake I went on here. Now which one's moving next? That's Huck. Those two have stayed the same, which means this one only moves itself. And therefore, that is the correct solution. Hold on, my boy. Hold on. I thought it high time I caught up with you. Fair enough. Be prepared to defend yourself. Let's keep moving then. You know, I can be benched. Dragon language, myth no more. Okay. I would suggest avoiding these traps.
like that one. What on earth is in here? Oops. We've got company. Really? How? Too close to Saran, or I can't. I'm not. Okay. I hope Saran is okay. Gold or amulet fragment, writ of sealing. Started, forbidden legend. Be bound here, Yirik, murderer, betrayer. Condemned by your crimes against realm and lord. May your name and deeds be forgotten forever, and the charm that you bear be sealed by our ward. You okay? I, uh, cut you pretty heavily in the crossfire there. So what's this? What do you think? Be prepared to defend yourself. What is this thing? I have no idea. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. The Archmage needs to be informed immediately. He needs to see this for himself. I don't dare leave this unattended. Can you return to the college and inform Sabo Saran of this discovery? Please, hurry. Sure. Just let me uh, loot stuff. Stuff of Yurik Gulderson. I didn't mean to take hide braces. Oh well. Ah! One of my arrows. These are the arrows that would just seem to be passing straight through him, I guess. Uh, is there a way through somewhere? Usually you expect a back door of some sort in these places. Be prepared to ah, defend yourself. It's there. I'm just clicking in the wrong place. It's a blood wall. I wonder what this one is. Ice. Ice form. Ebony boots. And I can't carry any more. Can you carry some stuff for me, please? This better not be all the things that just can't be bothered. Don't use that ebony greatsword. Well, you. I guess you can if you want, but I don't think you'll be any good with it. So, where does this go? Missing something? This seems like a dead end with no way through. Am I just missing it? Yes, is the answer to that. So I need to report back to the Archmage, and of course it's gone dark, or going dark. Um, so... I'd best hurry. Try not to get attacked by anything out here in the wilderness. Well, I'm back at the college. And now I just need to track down the Archmage, or wherever he might be. Probably in the Archmage's quarters further up. Am 
Wow, this is a long way up. Aha. What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Several, if you're talented. It's no secret that the college's reputation in Skyrim is... tainted. I need to speak to you about Sarthal. Ah, please don't tell me that another one of the apprentices has been incinerated. I have enough to deal with right now. Um, no. We found some sort of... Orb. Tolfdir wanted you to see it. I... see. I trust that Tolfdir will provide a more... specific explanation. Hopefully. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Tolfdir normally looks after your little group, yes? Since he's apparently occupied, and I will need to see this discovery for myself, I think perhaps you should begin researching the subject. And good work. The next time you find yourself exploring Nordic ruins, perhaps this will be helpful. A staff of mage light. I mean, it could be. Have you ever, have you ever met the Sigic Order? Personally? No, not I. One of their number used to advise the Archmage when I was but an apprentice here. But that was a great many years ago. Before all the members of the Order were called back to the Isle of Arteum, and it disappeared entirely. I see. Now if you'll excuse me. Sure. Um... There you are. I've been trying to find you. I just wanted to let you know that Ankano's been asking about you. I think he's looking for you. Why would Ankano be looking for me? I'm not sure. Just... Well, mind what you tell him, alright? Sure. Is there a problem? No, no. Well, I don't think so. Between the two of us, there are rumors about him. That this advisor position he has is a sham, an excuse. That what he's really doing is spying for the Thalmor, trying to feed them information. Whether it's true, I can't say. But it never hurts to be a little suspicious, does it? I suppose not. Thanks for the warning. You're welcome. Um... Mm -hmm. Is that him? I have many important things on my mind. Your concerns are not among them. Okay. I thought you said he was looking for me. Right, so... I'm supposed to research... Your job is a fine job, Master Wizard, I suppose. Still, there's always room for improvement. Okay. Um, researching this orb thing. Uh, I'm supposed to speak to Mirabel Irvin, who's apparently upstairs. Or not? Ah, oh, she's there. I understand you're the one that found this. Well, you're certainly making a name for yourself. What for finding this orb? Uh, y yeah. The Archmage asked me to see you? Yes. From what I've heard, I expect Tolfdil will be occupied for some time. Hmm. That is a problem, isn't it? I suppose someone else will need to look after the apprentices for now. So what should I do if there's no class? Well, perhaps it's time for some independent study. Check with Urag Groshab in the Arcanium. See if he's aware of any references to this... thing that you and Tolfdil found. I'd like to know as much as we can about it. Okay. Am I just going to be running around talking to people? Because I can do that. Are the others back yet? No. Hmm. Thought I perhaps I could get to know the other apprentices by taking them along. Okay, so I'm looking for Ura Grushub in the Arcanium. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? Sure. I need to learn about something we found in Sarthal. 
I know what you want. Word travels fast around here. Discovered some big mystery, huh? Well, you don't even need to ask. No, I don't have anything for you. Not any more, anyway. You don't have anything that can help? I said not any more. Orthorn stole a number of books when he ran off to Felglow Keep to join those summoners. Some kind of peace offering. I think one of those volumes may have had some relevant information. If you want them, you'll have to talk to Orthorn. Doesn't anyone care that Orthorn stole things from the college? Not enough to bother with. Archmage Aaron's approach to these things is just to let them sort themselves out. Although now it looks like you'll be doing the sorting. Good luck with that. Right. Who is this Orthorn? He was an apprentice here at the college. Not very skilled, but got involved with a group of mages who took a liking to him. When they left, he took off after them. Stole supplies and books from the college. I suppose as a way to ingratiate himself. And why are these mages at Felgler Keep? Let's just call it a difference of opinion with the college. They were interested in research that goes outside the bounds of what the college allows, so they were persuaded to leave. Right. Any interest in ancient former tombs? Well, well. I haven't seen one of these beauties in a long time. A rare find in the original Thalmer language. You're damn right I'm interested. Question is, are you selling? Depends how much you're paying. Well, considering no one else in Skyrim would buy something they couldn't possibly read, I'd say you don't have much of a choice. Tell you what, you bring me books like this, and I'll pay a thousand gold each. I'll even throw in a translated edition I have for free. Interested? Fair enough. Here you go. I've been uh, trying to get rid of those for some time. So... You there. I have questions for you. You were in Sarpo, yes? It has come to my attention that something was found there. Perhaps? I know full well that you have. Please do not insult my intelligence. Torfdir is still there now, is he? I shall expect a full report when he returns. Why does this matter to you? Something was discovered in Sarpol that was significant enough that Torfdir sent a new member of the college alone to deliver word. That sounds precisely like the sort of thing that should matter to everyone, especially me. Thank you for your help. You may go now. Okay. And where am I going? Felga Keep. That's way over in Whiterun. Well, near Whiterun. I guess I'll have to take the carriage back from Winterhold to Whiterun and then walk from there. Is there anything else I have? To ask Phoenix Jester about... Mm, Jester? Whatever. Uh, Phoenix... I don't know. About the missing apprentices. I have many important things on my mind. You're... Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Well, quite sure we need to be speaking. That guy? If you require assistance with summoning techniques, please let me know. If you would, please also contain your summons to the college grounds. The locals do not need to be agitated further by Atronachs roaming their town. The summoning of undead is even less advisable outside the college. Uh, okay, but you posted a notice about some missing apprentices? Ah, that, yes. The group prior to yours has disappeared entirely. It's possible that there was less than the necessary amount of oversight. That's still being looked into. But we've had no contact with them for quite some time now. Arniel wondered if perhaps they'd somehow managed to get themselves lost in the Outer Realms. But I think that's given them too much credit. Where could they have gone? I'm not sure. None of them were working on anything terribly dangerous. As I recall, Yisra was trying to improve flame cloak spells to better work in Skyrim's harsh environment. Elos Tai was practicing illusion spells. She was having trouble with the calm spells, I believe, but only ever worked with skeevers. 
And then there's Borvir and Vundi. Twins. Though they rarely agreed on anything. Those two boys were obsessed with mead. Convinced they could concoct something to compete with Hunting Brew. Something about using frost magic to chill the mead for a certain period of time. I felt it was a waste, but the Archmage let them proceed. I see. And is there, has there been any word from them? None. It's been long enough that, honestly, I don't expect to hear from them. Right. Summoning undead isn't frowned upon? I sure no. Those archaic policies died out with the Mages Guild, and were never enforced here. Necromancy, as any other type of magic, is a tool to be used. Of course, non-mages may not see it that way, so we don't go around flaunting it. Of course. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, I noticed the other apprentice is getting I'm back while we were talking, so... I Are you? The exact nature of my research is a secret, I'm afraid. But it really is quite valuable. That sounds very interesting. Is there anything I could help with? You mean the official sort of business? Hmm. Well, no. No, not really. Uh-huh. Fine. Well, I th as I said, I thought I saw the other apprentices arriving back. So I'll go and talk to them some more. I don't think anyone here is my room. And here we have Jazargo. Can you, can you possibly help Jazargo? What did you need help with? Jazargo has seen that Torfdir likes you. You must be very skilled with magic, yes? Jazargo is working hard, but cannot do it alone. Can you help with this? What kind of help do you need? Jazargo has worked hard on learning new spells. Trying new things. This will make Jazargo stand out as a mage. But Jazargo works so hard, there is no time to test these new spells. If you help with the testing, this will make learning easier. Jazargo will give you scrolls. You will use them and report the results. This is a good plan, no? You tell Jazargo when you are ready. Alright, I'll help. Give me the scrolls. <laughs> you can resist, can you? Let's see. This one, I think. Jazargo has designed it to be an excellent flame cloak, with a twist. It is especially potent against the undead, and should burn them to a crisp in no time. Jazargo gives you plenty of these scrolls, so you try them and return when you can say whether they work. Okay, that sounds like it might be useful. Jazargo awaits word of how well his scrolls work. If it works, of course. And I am carrying too much. Nobody here? Onmond. I need your help with something. Something private. Is something wrong? Yes, but it needs to be kept quiet. I may have entered into an agreement with Enther. He had something I needed, so I traded him something of mine. It was a mistake, and now I want back what I gave him. It's an amulet that belonged to my family, and I never should have given it to Enther. But he won't deal with me. Talk to him. See what it'll take to get my amulet back. Okay. Why is this amulet so important to you? I told you, it's from my family. I don't... I know they've always disapproved of what I wanted in life. To learn magic instead of becoming a farmer or a hunter. But, no matter how poorly they may have treated me, they're still my family. I didn't consider that until after I made the trade. I see. I'd better get going. And Berlina. If you have a moment, could you help me with something? What do you need help with? We're all trying to become better mages, right? Right. Well, I need someone I can practice a few spells on. Nothing dangerous, really. Would you be willing to assist me? Okay... Oh, good. I was afraid I'd have to go ask Jazargo. Now, you just stand there. Please hold still, and don't move. There! Now I... Oh dear, um... that wasn't supposed to happen. Do you... Do you feel alright? 
You look very, um, green. Yeah, so do you. I am so very sorry. I went over this again and again, and I was sure it would have better results. Well, what did you do? I'm not really sure. I think it's just a minor miscalculation on my part. I'm sure it will wear off soon. When it does, you'll be perfectly fine, and then we can try again. In the meantime, I'll see about figuring out what went wrong. Okay. I'd better get going. Yeah. Um. I was supposed to talk to Enthia, wasn't I? Let me give you a bit of advice. If you want to work on something that's not officially allowed, don't tell anyone you're doing it. You need something you're not officially supposed to have, you come see me. You tell anyone that I told you, and I'll fry you from the inside out. Got it? Huh? Good. Taking me up on my offer, eh? Good. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, yes, you're a fence, aren't you? Oh, sorry, I shouldn't say it like that, but how's business? Business? Business is actually inconsequential to me. I share little of your lust for coin. However, as promised, I'll still be more than happy to take any stolen merchandise off your hands. Okay, and I understand you have something of Onman's. He wants it back. Oh my. How precious. Onmund is too afraid to deal with me himself, and so he sent you. I'll make this very simple for you. All my trades are final. Onmund knew this ahead of time and went through with it anyway. So there's nothing more to be said. Surely it's in everyone's best interest if you return the amulet. Yes, you see, the thing is, I'm not concerned with everyone's best interest. I find I'm only concerned with my own. Okay... I've already made it very clear that all of my trades are final. There must be something I can do to change your mind. Look how persistent you are. Charming, really. Onman gave up the first time I said no, but not you. All right, I'll tell you a little story. Let's pretend for a moment that a certain individual was looking to acquire a particular staff. Let's also pretend that he traded some valuable items for said staff. And it was only later that it was realized that this individual might misuse such a staff. The resulting disaster would reflect quite poorly on everyone involved. You following me? I think so. You're not very good at this, are you? Look, I traded a staff to someone and found out later that was a bad idea, so I'd like the staff back. Understand now? Yes, that's what I thought. You want that almond out of his train, but you want it out of yours? It's an entirely different situation. I don't expect you to comprehend the nuances of these matters. Regardless, I'm making you a very simple offer. You get me the staff and I give you Onman's precious amulet. Do we have a deal? Yes. So you want your staff back? Yes. I thought we'd gotten past that bit already. Onman's amulet in exchange for my staff. Well, I can't exactly get it back if you want tell me who I'm supposed to talk to or where I'm supposed to go, can I? Finally, we have an agreement. I look forward to having it back soon. The sooner the better, in fact. Right. And... Give my regards to Carlia if you see her. Sure. And... Oh, I have map markers for the missing apprentices. Interesting. Not really my priority right now, though. Mara's I Pond. Okay. I need to wait for Berlina's spell to wear off. 
uh, test flame cloak spells on just any undead, and find the stolen books in Feldler Keep. I think the first, my first priority. I understand you're the one that found this orb in Southall. Yes, and my first priority is to probably to have a quick nap and hope this green thing wears off. Okay, and it wore off. Bernina? I still need some help. If you can spare the time, at least something good came out of that trip to Sarthal. I didn't find anything but dust. Hmm. Your spell finally wore off. Exactly as I said it would. Now, are you ready to try again? I am confident it will work this time. Okay, you can try again. This will be worth it. Okay, now don't move at all. Oh my. That isn't right. Just wait. Just... I can fix this. Oh no. That's not it at all. Let me try again. This really isn't turning out the way I'd hoped. I'll get it right this time. I swear. Um well, it all worked out in the end, didn't it? Let's never speak of this again. Agreed. And thank you for your help. You're a good friend. Do you want to come with me and search for some missing books which might have information about this orb? Lead the way. Okay. Let's go then. <laughs>